I'm Dennis Chalker. I'm here to talk about the Chalker Sling. Okay, as you can see, I'm wearing the original sling that I developed in 1984 in my military career. I developed this sling for a variety of reasons, mostly for close quarters combat, which I got tired of a three-point sling hanging on me, weight distributed unequally, and the idea of the process that sometimes when I'm wearing a gas mask, I come up and snap out. Uh, sometimes it would catch and break the seal of my mask. As you can see, now I'm wearing the first generation of the sling that came out. Uh, the sling now is currently being made by Jersey Tactical out of New Jersey. What you really want is comfortably this sitting across the pecs of your chest. All right, nice and smooth. What you do is have somebody help you. The straps are long. Adjust it. Now, as you can see in the back of my straps, I have about a quarter inch. That is set to when I put my body armor on, my soft body armor, I extend that out, that's fitted to my body armor. As I have right now, is fitted to my body. Now the sling itself, what I like, you don't need your partner, you can put it on yourself just like a t-shirt. All you have to do, make sure you got it lined up the way you want it. All right, with the front, slip it in just like a t-shirt. Go ahead and throw it over your shoulders. Adjust your pads to where you feel comfortable. This thing's ready to rock and roll. Here has to be a round metal clip that will allow free movement inside the spring-loaded swivel. You cannot use, I'll say, 550 cord or material with a loop because when you pull to release it, it will snag inside the swivel. So it's important you have this little metal clip on the standoff. Now, if you come over here, we're going to talk about the standoff. This here being my M14 match, as you can see what I did on all mine, what I do is my standoff is a distance between the stock and this little piece, my swivel, and my cheek stock, stock weld. So once I determine this, as you can see, I took this down and I've had it sewn. What I've also done was on the release was have it come in and put Velcro around the strap. So imagination, you can imagine what you can do. Now that's a solid piece that stays with the weapon. I don't remove it. My shotgun virtually is the same way. Alright, my 870 pump. As you can see the same thing. My standoff, alright, is sewn. And then I got it gripped in and I have Velcro. Okay. As you can see when we go to the M4, bring the weapon over. Now, a lot of gunsmiths now have made, been making the buffer ring with a loop on each side for a variety of slings. But mostly this is concerned for the single point attachment. It keeps it free and clear, right? You can put it on either side. Again, this is rubber shrink, which my son uh, had a good idea. Once we had it sewn and everything, we slipped some over, heated it up, and it came nice and tight. It keeps it nice and sturdy, so it makes it nice and accessible for me to quickly fasten fasten on that. Now, as I said, everybody's different. Myself personally, my weapons, one click out for close quarters. My method of doing close quarters. Same time I can come up, as you can see, this is the standoff you need. No way would you type this in to there, right there. It will not release. You need the standoff strap with the little loop. Just clip it, and it's good to go. And I'll do some demonstrations with transitions in a minute. Quick release, take the weapon off. Technology came out, new body armor with the Iraq and Afghan war. I got a call and everybody was asking me about, is there anything we can do for a Mali system? So I went through a variety of vendors, but we did develop some of the different systems you can see that'll attach to the Mali system that are still the single, single point attachment. Uh, this is the one I personally used when I was over in um, Iraq from 2003 to 7, and this was actually on my plate harness. Uh, solid material, all right. Again, you can see this comes a certain length. Uh, go over there to the new one, you see it? I'll show you here. You can see it comes with extended length, so everybody can decide. I like mine short, so I just tape them up, and what I do is tape it. All right, everybody asked me about red. All I'm going to say is red's cosmetic. 
You can't see red at night. Uh, a lot of law enforcement, when I was dealing with it, liked that little red tap so they could ID it personally themselves when they were in the room. One thing I never noticed I designed it for, but it can be used for a good concealment uh, sling that you can uh, get to quickly. I've sold a lot of slings since I developed the sling when I retired to a lot of uh, uh, highway patrolmen and a lot of officers that are on patrol. And the reason why is they can wear the soft body armor, put on the sling, and then put their shirt on. And then if they need to get to it, all they have to do is undo one button. With that, a lot of times I'd be wearing my plate carrier, all right, and then I'd wear the vest. At that time, I would use, as you can see, the Molly system, I would use that sling. Not saying this sling will not fit over your body armor or plate carrier, it will. All right, there's a lot of details I did where I had to be more or less concealed weapons carrying, can't visibly show anything. But at the same time, I've always had my M4 in, in the armored vehicle, and that way if I had to get to it, at least I could go grab my weapon and come up. Clip it in and I'm ready to go. With the weapon, a lot of people ask me, okay, you're like this. Dennis, what if you wanted to put the weapon away in that? Originally, I used to have a bungee around my leg, and all I did was take the muzzle of the weapon, stick it in my bungee, and put it on the side. Uh, along with that, later on down the road, a couple vendors, Blackhawk in particular, developed what they call a CQD catch. And it's designed for any weapon system, any sling system, to go ahead and put your weapon. Now, this one is being a soft cover. All right, they do make one with plastic and it's got a loop and you have the option of leaving that open so you can just hook it in easily and take it out. A little attachment I designed was I took some straps of Velcro and basically what I do is put this around the forearm. I'm going to take my weapon up to the high port, which I feel comfortable with high port. I know the condition of my weapon. The muzzle's not going to point towards anybody. All it is is a quick fix to bring this around. The more dope you got on your weapon, a little bit more time to put on it. All right, as you can see, my weapon's sitting at the high port right now. It's not going to swing in front of anybody's, anybody's face. I can move around comfortable with a weapon like this pretty much all day. If I did have to expediently get to the weapon, what I would do is just grab this Velcro as I'm extending out, and then I extend out, and I'm right on my weapon, ready to rock and roll or do what I need to do. Drill, like I stated, is I like my weapon to come down smooth, I believe in close quarters I need both hands to maintain weapons retention at the same time control the situation. When I had a three point sling sometimes I had to bring the weapon down here which you can see leaves me open as I'm going to the secondary. With, with the sling system here, I'm coming up when I do a transition all I'm doing is a quick trap straight down, alright, then coming out with the secondary. This allows this hand here as I'm transitioning if I need it to adapt to do anything, to, to hit somebody, to palm strike somebody keep them away from me until I can come out to my secondary I can. Now, the other reason I developed this was we train weapons retention. We train nobody grabs your weapon. Is that the perfect world? No. Somebody could grab your weapon. If you have a three-point sling on and somebody grabs your weapon, then you are in the fight for your life to make sure you do not get choked out with your own weapon or you can transition to your secondary and deal with the situation as you're fighting with your primary. One thing I like about, please, is if somebody grab my weapon, all right, they grab my weapon, all I'm going to do is allow a little pressure, boom, and then I'm coming right out to my secondary. That gives me every right at that time if that person wants to use that weapon without being in the struggle. Dennis Chalker here, founder of the Chalker Sling. You can obtain the second generation Chalker Sling at jerseytactical.com. Jersey Tactical is well known for making the jersey cuffs and also the new multi-purpose, all-around breaching tool, the Jersey Claw. I'm a firm believer in it. That's up for you, Jersey boys.